Greetings. My name is Stephanie Dawn and I've been on a health journey now for the past seven plus years of learning about how to detox my body of all kinds of toxins. And more recently, four years ago, uh, I learned that I had a breast cancer diagnosis and I've been working to heal my body of the appearance of cancer naturally all this time. And so I wanna talk with you today about glyphosate. So glyphosate is a cancer causing herbicide and glyphosate is being found in our air, our water and our food. And it's very serious. And so I wanted to talk with you about it because many people don't even know what it is. And so there's a bit of a disconnect or cognitive dissonance around the fact that the food that we're buying in our grocery stores is actually poisoned and it's making us really, really sick. So I found out about glyphosate about eight years ago. I read an article uh, about glyphosate being found in organic California wines. And I let my family know because they drink a lot of wine, white wine in particular. And so then about a year later, I read um, an amazing report called Glyphosate Unsafe on Any Plate. And it was produced by the detoxproject.org and Food Democracy Now. And in this report, I learned that Cheerios, the cereal that I had been feeding to my uh, six or seven year old boy at the time, um, for as long as he'd been able to eat, was drenched in glyphosate, over a thousand parts per billion. And what I read in that report is that, I think it was that 0.5 parts per billion was causing liver damage in rats. So I was absolutely mortified that this company, General Mills, was allowed to be selling us toxic food and really profiting in the billions is what I later learned. And that I'd been unknowingly poisoning my kid, you know, my precious baby boy. And so I took the Cheerios out of our pantry. And then one year later, I received um, information that this company that I had aligned with an organic superfoods company had created a supplement that would that claimed to remove glyphosate out of the body and i was incredibly skeptical hopeful but skeptical um i thought that was a pretty dramatic claim uh so fast forward about i don't know a month after uh my company made that claim my kid got really, really sick. And I was like, now what? Like I knew it was gut related because he was experiencing stomach pains, diarrhea, and nausea. And I'm like, something's wrong with his gut. And so uh, I then learned at that point that the non-organic wheat bagels that he had been eating almost every morning, like they've taken the place of the Cheerios, were also drenched in glyphosate. And I didn't understand that. Um, prior and so consequently removed the, the wheat bagels out of his diet, removed corn, removed anything that would further exacerbate his gut. And I ended up, you know, having my little guy be a guinea pig for um, this supplement that really, in all honesty, completely transformed his health. He no longer had the gut issues. He still doesn't to this day. Um, but he does keep taking the supplement. So I wanted to just share this little story about my son because I feel so strongly that we as Americans, we as concerned citizens of this planet, really need to be educating ourselves around what's going on with our food and really the corruption of our food systems. And so um, to that end, I'm offering an event uh, on March 21st at 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard to really go deeply around, you know, how glyphosate came to be, um, what what the history of it is in our food, so, uh, food systems, and what is the solution. 
So I'll be going deep into all those three things uh, on that date. And I wanted to invite you to join me. And uh, the, the, the link to register will be below. And uh, I really hope you can make it for yourself, for your family, for your community, because what's going on with our, um, with our food is absolutely unacceptable to me as a woman and really unacceptable as a mother. And so if you know of anyone that you think might be interested in learning more about glyphosate, please share this video with them. And I hope to see you on March 21st. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.